Hey what's up guys and welcome to a redstone tutorial. Today we will be building an AI, an artificial intelligence in Minecraft, which is pretty cool. This is a very basic one, but it you know it's got three outputs and it randomly chooses between uh, either this one or this one or this one. And also you can add more as you go along, but we're gonna start with three. So, first of all I'll show you a quick demonstration of what it actually does. So what we do, so we hit this uh, lever here. This is the AI component here, and it will flicker. And what we get, what uh, we are now waiting for is for when one of these comes back on, uh, as it's um, the uh, there we are that one's on, and there we are that's a random output. And so this time, say for example, the player dies, as this one might be linked to the player dies, or, or something like that. You could you can do all that kind of cool stuff. Well. As you see here, we have the AI unit. Now, this is just this small section in red is the AI unit. Now, what happens is when this torch is powered, it powers this, which also powers this redstone torch, which also powers this redstone current, which powers the block and turns off the torch. That then turns this off, turning the torch back on again. That happens exactly eight times with this repeating with this repeater here, which makes it very predictable and useful in an AI. As you can see here with the flickery one, which just went off, what happens is is this torch resetting itself back to on, which would be one in binary, which is sort of how this all works. So when this torch resets itself to one, it then comes through into this memory bank section. Now the memory bank uses several uh, inverted torches underneath here, and several more torches connected to each output. So. As for instance this one is now off, it means that this torch and this torch here are both on, creating, putting both uh, options A and options B into permanent on states, meaning that when it comes to this inverter at the end here, they're both off, putting this one on. And as you may have seen, these, some of these up here keep flickering, but they can't get through because these are permanently on and they're powered from here, which isn't affected by back there, making this the only on option and that is why the memory bank is here okay so now i'm going to teach you how to build it so first of all we're going to build the actual ai itself with the red circuit so we need three red um wall blocks i can't remember what they were called then for a second uh, and we're going to have a redstone torch on this side here as well and then we can have redstone repeaters there and there and we can have another redstone repeater these are all on zero ticks of delay, well, technically they're one, because a repeater is one to, uh, tick of delay by default. We have some redstone going like so, alongside. Now, as you can see, that's the flickering, essentially that's the AI completely complete. Um, now we've got to essentially build the reset system and the memory bank. Okay, so what we need to do now is we'll just extend these out a bit, then extend these out by two more blocks. And we'll put a red bit of redstone on either end, like so, and repeater like that. Okay, that is essentially all we have to do there. So now what we need to do is we'll start on the green circuit, and this is the memory bank. So we need to go up by one on each of these, up again, and across like that. And then we get our redstone torch. We place it all the way along here. We go down. We replace it on here, here, and here, and we put some redstone along the top as well, like so. Okay, now let's continue down here. So then we go in, one like so, so it looks like that. So it faces in towards the middle, and we put redstone on all of those like so. We'll just continue those out a bit further, and we go up one block. Take that one out if you want. We've got a repeater there, not a repeater, sorry, a redstone torch. Redstone torch, no, not redstone torch, redstone. Um, and we go down like so across a bit like that. Now for this one here we obviously need to make sure that this one powers these two when this one is disabled. So we go up one like that and across like that. Leaving it so we put a redstone torch there and a redstone torch there. And we put some more redstone there, all the way along there and along there like so. Now we can come back around and extend this a little bit further. And now we need to make sure that this one powers all of these. So we'll go up here, along here, that one there, make sure the middle is powered, and we'll power that with a red, uh, repeater there. Go up there like so, 
make sure those are all fully powered like that. And there we have it. That is essentially our little memory bank. So now what we need to do is we just extend these out and we can actually put the AI bit on. So now we put a repeater on there and on there. We go up one like so. Redstone torch, redstone torch, redstone torch. And for demonstration purposes, I'll put a redstone lamp on top so you can see which output it will be. Okay, so now we need to make the uh, reset system. And first of all, we need to go like that. We need to go two out. Repeaters all the way along there. Again, zero ticks. Along like so. Now we need to feed this all the way back to the start. Like so. And we'll stop there for the time being, as we'll come back to that in a second. But what we need to do now is we'll hook all of these up with redstone like that, and it's, <laughs> it's still going. Um, now we go back to the red circuit, put a redstone, uh, blo not redstone, uh, red block there, wool block, Re uh, redstone torch there, three repeaters along this way, make sure they are on four ticks of delay, uh, redstone bit there, and now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there we are, and now we put all of that on four ticks of delay, we come round here, we put another one there, hook those up with redstone, put a bit of block there to stop the current from going from there and there. I have a red block there. Go up again. Go up again. Repeater. Up one more. So we need to go along there. And now we need to go all the way along here, like so. Redstone all the way along. And then we need to get our uh, good old friends with torches back. We'll place that one there, place that one there, and place that one there. Now we can go down here. Rest and torch there. Now we need to go along here. And we need to put a repeater just before this redstone torch, just like that wire all of this all the way along, put a repeater there, now we can go down here along there, put a repeater there so uh, signal doesn't go back um, and interfere with stuff, go down here, green block, lever and there we go, our redstone thing is now, com our AI sorry, is now fully complete and fully functioning, so now we can completely lock the system, make sure everything is working properly. There we are, this reset system is now fully worked, it's, it's reset all of these, this is now reset all of those, hit, hit the lever one more time, it does this little flickering thing, they, their redstone torches burn out, and now we just wait, <laughs> wait until the uh, redstone torch comes back on, and uh, we'll have our final output. Oh, there, oh, there we go. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. My name is being Chris, or Cass, or the Almighty Mushroom, as my channel suggests. So uh, if you want to see more of this kind of thing, or more building tutorials, please leave a like and favourite, and please do subscribe to the Too Much Minecraft channel and my own. And I will see you next time, so thank you very much. Goodbye.